In this video, I tried to make Terraria look as beautiful as possible. So I installed a bunch of mods and some resource packs, and now we're gonna hop into the game to see how it looks. All right, so I have all the mods and the resource packs that I got installed. And as you can see, the game honestly does look a lot more beautiful. It's kind of hard to make a game like Terraria look super good because of its art style, its perspective, but it's still definitely possible. But yeah, as you can see, you know, I have a picture of all the mods and stuff either at the beginning of the video or towards the end but we have a mod that lets us look around and it can look a little goofy you know it looks fine when we're running in one direction but when we're running backwards nobody moves backwards okay <laughs> it looks like my boy is having trouble catching his balance but either way as you can see let's zoom out here the game really can look just different now i do have a texture pack installed here we're gonna go through a couple of texture packs i was trying to find like a really like high definition realistic one literally couldn't find that many texture packs period because when you go on the terraria steam workshop and look for texture packs the only thing you find is ass and titty mods which is funny at first like haha i love me some big titty dryad mods and texture packs but after a while it's like bro i'm just trying to find some good texture packs i can't get through all this junk as you see we're in the desert super bright and vivid really looks like we're going on some crazy journey in this magical world we've never seen anything from but yeah let's go ahead let's run through a bunch of the biomes here just see what it looks like boom we're in the snow biome it's got like this icy feel to it we head into the crimson corruption i feel like it's a little bright here the sun may be a little too bright here but let's see maybe at nighttime we can get it looking a lot different okay at nighttime it's just straight up just pitch black no moon peering through or anything maybe we gotta wait for the moon to come out a little bit more here we go now this this is kind of more like it i do wish with all the stuff i had installed that it was darker here during daytime i feel like it's a little too bright during the day with the sun out but this definitely has a darker vibe to it we're at the jungle over here i kind of like how the sun is kind of giving like a little silhouette don't know if that's the word vignette i don't know to the trees in the background looks very cool i chose this uh what's the name of this set ronin set wandering set because i don't know it just kind of fits the adventuring vibe we head to the beach and oh my god it is blinding out here at the beach <laughs> might be a little too sunny it still looks great though but yeah i do have a couple of mods installed here uh one specifically the spooky mod and the reason i got the spooky mod installed is because as you can see spooky mod adds in some good looking biomes and not to mention bumping music in the background and i did want to see what this would look like with uh some biome mods in here and as you can see it looks great we got the nice fall colors and the sunlight in the background the biome background itself also looks great with all the different colors and then we go over here i believe this might be like a new area with the uh, spooky mod but yeah we can see like how it looks with structures and stuff you can see some of the sun rays kind of peering through some of the holes in the window obviously it's not going to be like we're playing like some crazy high definition game again this is terraria there's probably so much that we can do only so much that we can do i don't expect you know installing all this stuff and making it look like i don't know the witcher or cyberpunk on full graphics it still looks good though here we are in hell if you guys are wondering what it would look like down here it's just fairly dark it kind of looks normal and then we, we go over here to the other spooky mod biome you know it, it kind of looks the same as it would with uh, without all the textures and stuff on but yeah i'm gonna go ahead let's jump back to the main menu here so the resource packs i got we got the brighter skies and we got the Polar polaris texture pack i'm gonna go ahead and disable that because we're gonna try some other ones out here we're gonna try the secrets of shadows one and then we're gonna go ahead and try the calamity one at some point after this but let's see what it looks like with this one all right as you can see already we definitely got a whole different vibe here a lot lighter in terms of just like the regular terrain and stuff we come over here i like how the dungeon is like really dark the dungeon is super dark and then if we bust open the door you see how the light peers in that's really cool but yeah just checking out the views just seeing what it's like everywhere let's hit up the beach real quick the beach honestly looking better i like this texture pack for the beach i feel like the water is really dark i think i like a nice little light blue for my water when it comes to the beach maybe like this but yeah let's go ahead let's run through everything again the snow biome got that nice icy feel once again corruption a little bit darker that might just be because it's actually getting darker in the world you know we're getting towards the end of the day this honestly looks a lot better we hit up the little spooky biome again looking good we hit up the jungle the jungle honestly doesn't get too much of an effect with all these lighting things let's go ahead let me put the um put the the sun back to the middle let's just try that well let's, let's see at midnight Ooh, 
pretty dark. Yeah, let's put the sun here in the middle. I think that looks the best for the jungle. I kind of wish the jungle background was like more of like a canopy, you know? Like we can't even see the sun. I kind of wish the trees were just like never ending in the background and that the sun would be barely peering through. I feel like that would make the jungle look a lot different. I guess one thing we can try is the sky. Damn, I'm gonna go blind up here. Quick trip to hell, looking hellish as always. Let's go ahead, let's switch to the Calamity Texture Pack now. All right, here we are, Calamity Texture Pack. Let's peep it. Let's head over here to the desert super bright over here honestly that's what i expect from the desert we hit up the corruption real quick uh let me go ahead let me change the time for the corruption because the corruption definitely looks better at night or maybe even like dusk okay dusk is really dark jesus we just change it to straight up midnight and <laughs> they're not lying it is definitely midnight boom snow biome looking cool hit up the oasis real quick and then we can swing into the forest biome. I definitely feel like the Calamity texture pack definitely got like a grittier vibe to it. That's kind of like the whole of Calamity. It's got like more like higher res gritty textures. And I ain't talking about the dance. We can peep the dungeon again. I really like how this dungeon area looks with all the lights and stuff. You know what? One thing I do want to check out is this. This probably looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks like how it looks in vanilla. This already, these like xenon moss biomes or whatever they're called. They all look, they look pretty good in vanilla. Quick stop by the jungle, looking the same. And then I guess we could come by over here. Honestly, this like dirt and grass kind of matches the uh, spooky mod blocks here. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a video like this because I know you can really get crazy with making Toria look very different. And like this, I really had a theme with it. You could really create your own theme about making the game look different. Like this, I went for like a realistic, nice looking vibe in terms of the shaders and vibrance of everything. You could like make a spooky texture pack. You can make like a steampunk texture pack. You know, there's a lot you could do with it. Uh, obviously there's probably more texture packs and stuff that I didn't find. Like I said, kind of hard to search through texture packs at all, given all of them are titty or nudity mods. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments if there's any other good texture packs like there's probably a lot of texture packs that i could have got that like just added in like more detailed looking trees plants rocks stuff like that so like you really can't create some cool things which is probably my favorite thing about Turia texture packs is how you can combine a bunch of them together to make stuff look really cool but yeah quickly here are all the mods these were the mods that i used shout out to all the mods oh i didn't even really check out this the loot beams let's hop in and check that out real quick when you drop things on the floor, they got a little loot beam on them. I felt like this would have been a nice little addition to have in here. Yeah, I don't know. It just kind of matches, you know, having all these bright lights and everything. Why not have loot beams on the weapons? Obviously, it's super customizable. You can mess with all the settings. But yeah, nice, nice little extra addition. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching this video. I'll see y'all next time.